The 33-Day Consecration of St. Joseph, live from San Jose de Trozo Parish, will begin shortly. Please stand by. The 33-Day Consecration of St. Joseph, live from San Jose de Trozo Parish, will begin shortly. Please stand by. The 33-Day Consecration of St. Joseph, live from San Jose de Trozo Parish, will begin shortly. Please stand by. Let us immerse ourselves in the loving presence of God by invoking the third person of the Blessed Trinity. Veni Sancte Spiritus, come Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit, send down those beams which sweetly flow in silent streams from thy bright throne above. O come, thou Father of the poor, O come, thou source of all our store, come fill our hearts with love. O Thou of Comforters best, O Thou the soul's delightful guest, the pilgrim's sweet relief. Rest art Thou in our toil, most sweet, refreshment in the noonday heat, and solace in our grief. O blessed light of life thou art, fill with thy light the inmost heart of those who hope in thee. Without thy Godhead nothing can have any price or worth in man, nothing can harmless be. Lord, wash our sinful stains away. Refresh from heaven our barren clay. Our wounds and bruises heal. To thy sweet yoke our stiff necks bow. Warm with thy fire our hearts of snow. Our wandering feet recall.
Grant to thy faithful, dearest Lord, whose only hope is thy sure word, the sevenfold gifts of grace. Grant us in life thy grace that we in peace may die and ever be, in joy before thy face. Amen. Alleluia. We are now on day 11 in our 33 day consecration to St. Joseph. And our theme for today is Spouse of the Mother of God, pray for us. According to Blessed Gabriel Allegra, how hard he, St. Joseph, must have prayed to come to know and ever increase in love toward his. Immaculate Wife. There has never been a man more in love with a woman than Saint Joseph was in love with Mary. What dignity and holiness were required of Saint Joseph to be the husband of Mary. In her feminine heart, Mary knew that she was secure in the manhood of Saint Joseph. He was her knight and warrior. Every wife desires such a husband, a gentleman, a protector, and a good father. Women deserve men who are strong and protective, yet gentle, loving, and trustworthy. Every woman wants to find security in the arms of a man who is willing to lay down his life for her. The church and the world need men like St. Joseph. He is the model husband. St. Joseph was the spouse of Mary. In the same way, each father sees himself entrusted with the mystery of womanhood through his own wife. Dear fathers, like St. Joseph, respect and love your spouse. And by your love and your wise presence, lead your children to God, says Pope Benedict XVI. Every Catholic heart wants shepherds like St. Joseph as well, priests and bishops, spiritual fathers, who are gentlemen, chivalrous warriors, protectors, and defenders. Catholics expect their priests and bishops to be prayerful, trustworthy, gentle, compassionate, and virtuous. The Bride of Christ, the Church, deserves to have leaders who are willing to fight off the wolves for love of the flock, slay spiritual dragons, and preach the truth with passion, Christian charity, and zeal. St. Joseph is the model of all fatherhood. Without looking to the model of St. Joseph, no husband, father, or priest will ever fully understand what it means to be a sacrificial man, a loving husband and father, and a truly masculine saint. St. Joseph is the model husband and father. The vocation of all men is to be at the service of those entrusted to their love and care. Many men have forgotten this today, but St. Joseph will help them remember. He will help men be holy and chivalrous again. All men discover in St. Joseph a model of strength, fidelity, heroism, and virtue. If men, husbands, fathers, priests, and bishops follow the example of St. Joseph, families will be loving and secure. Husbands will be holy, priests will be dragon slayers, and bishops will again be shepherds of souls and pillars of truth. 
Saint Joseph is a model for all men. Real men are true gentlemen at the service of others. Real men love. Real men protect women and children against any and all threats. Real men are willing to die for their wives and children. Holy priests and bishops are willing to suffer and die for the souls entrusted to their care. Priests and bishops of this caliber are not afraid of ridicule, slander, poverty, or imprisonment. Men like St. Joseph are willing to fight for what they love, what is good, true, and beautiful. May the church, families, once again be filled with such men. To you, O blessed Joseph, we come in our trials, and having asked the help of your most holy spouse, we confidently ask your patronage also, says Pope Leo XIII. From the divine praises, it is said, Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. The eleventh day, spouse of the Mother of God, pray for us. Act of Consecration to St. Joseph by Father Donald Calloway, M.I.C. I, a child of God, take you, St. Joseph, to be my spiritual father. I am confident that Jesus and Mary have led me to you, to know you, to love you, and to be totally consecrated to you. Therefore, having come to know and love you, I consecrate myself entirely to you, Saint Joseph. I want you in my life. I need you in my life. Take me as your spiritual child, O great Saint Joseph. I desire to hold nothing back from your protective fatherhood. As the husband of Mary, you provided for my spiritual mother. Thank you for always being faithful to her. Thank you for loving her and giving her your entire life for her service. As the virginal father of Jesus, you cared for my Lord and protected him from evil men. Thank you for guarding the life of my Savior. Thanks to you, Jesus was able to shed his blood for me on the cross. Thanks to you, Saint Joseph, I have hope of everlasting life in heaven. As my spiritual father, I know that you will guide and protect me too. Please instruct me in the ways of prayer, virtue, and holiness. I want to be like you, Saint Joseph. I want to be pure, humble, loving, and merciful. Now that I am yours and you are mine, I promise never to forget you. I know that you will never forget me, and this gives me boundless joy. I am loved by St. Joseph. I belong to St. Joseph. Praise to the Holy Trinity who has blessed you and graced you to be the greatest saint after Mary. Praise to the Virgin, who loves you and wants souls to love you. Praise to you, Saint Joseph, my Father, my Guardian, and my all. Amen.
the litany of Saint Joseph. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ hear us. Christ graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven. Have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world. Have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on us. Holy Mary. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Noble offspring of David. Pray for us. Light of patriarchs. Pray for us. Spouse of the Mother of God. Pray for us. Chaste guardian of the Virgin. Pray for us. Foster father of the Son of God. Pray for us. Zealous defender of Christ. Pray for us. Head of the Holy Family. Pray for us. Joseph most just. Pray for us. Joseph most chaste. Pray for us. Joseph most prudent. Pray for us. Joseph most courageous. Pray for us. Joseph most obedient. Pray for us. Joseph most faithful. Pray for us. Mirror of patience. Pray for us. Lover of poverty. Pray for us. Model of workmen. Pray for us. Glory of domestic life. Pray for us. Guardian of virgins. Pray for us. Pillar of families. Pray for us. Comfort of the afflicted. Pray for us. Hope of the sick. Pray for us. Patron of the dying. Pray for us. Terror of demons. Pray for us. Protector of the Holy Church. Pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. He has made him Lord of his household. And reigns over all his possessions. Let us pray. O God, who in your loving providence chose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother. Grant us the favor of having him for our intercessor in heaven, who on earth we venerate as our protector. You will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for joining us in this holy exercise. We hope that you come again tomorrow as we continue our consecration to St. Joseph, our spiritual father. God bless you.